Okay, here's a quick video about seafloor spreading, right? And so here's our next geologic hero. This guy's name is Harry Hess. And Harry Hess was a geologist. And after Alfred Wagner was kind of laughed at by all of his peers for this crazy idea of continental drift, <clears throat> which by the way, just to make sure, continental drift is not correct. Continental drift hypothesis is not right. The continents simply are not drifting. Sure, Wagner was right about Smurf, right, his evidence for Pangaea, and sure he was right that where the continents are now isn't where they've always been, but he had no way to show how to do it, and again he thought the continents were drifting, which they're not. So after being laughed at, 30 years goes by and this guy comes on the scene. This is Harry Hess, and Harry Hess was the geologist aboard this kind of a boat during World War II. And this kind of a boat had something brand new called sonar. Now, sonar these days, like a depth finder on a boat, is no big deal. Well, back then, that was a huge deal. And his job is he snuck in behind enemy lines and probed the, uh, the depth of the water around the enemy territory so we know where we could get our boats close to if we needed to get close to uh, enemy territory without them like getting caught on a sandbar or something like that. So what he did is he turned the sonar on the whole time though, not just when he was around enemy territory. So as he traveled back and forth across the Atlantic, so here's actual footage of, there he is, Harry Hess in his boat, and down here at the bottom you can see the ocean floor. And as they went across, sure enough, they kind of found what they think they would have found, that the ocean is kind of like an empty bathtub or something, not a big deal. But as they got to the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, there was this huge thing there that they did not expect to find. This thing's called the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. It's this giant underwater mountain range. You kind of saw it the other day in our maps, right, that this area in the middle of the ocean is higher than all the rest. It looks a little more like this. This is the Mid-Atlantic Ridge right here. This tall mountain range. Well, why the heck would that be there? Well, he didn't know either. And so after the war, he went back and mapped this whole area to see the age of the rock. And that Mid-Atlantic Ridge was super young in the middle and then got older, older, older as he went away on both sides, right? And just as much as it was old here, it was old there. This was the same age as that. This was the same age as that. Like, okay, how does that happen, right? And finally, he came up with this idea that the seafloor is spreading. What I mean by that, if this is the seafloor and you're looking down on it, this side's going to try to go this way, this side's going to try to go this way, and it cracks. See, that's the crack. And as it cracks and these two sides pull away, what you see is magma coming up, right? And that exposed magma is going to cool and harden into brand new rock. So this is older rock, older rock, new rock. But it keeps pulling, so that cracks down the middle again and pulls apart, exposing the magma again, that cools into brand new rock. So now we have young rock, a little older, a little older, right? And it happens again, splits and you get new rock, right? So this is the same pattern we saw before. So if we're looking for, well, what layer of rock here is the youngest? Well, that'd be number four, right? If I ask what rock layers are the oldest, That'd be one and seven, because they were once together where four is. Other rock layers that are the same age, that means two and six are the same age, three and five are the same age, right? And this made this map make sense now, that the young rock is in the very middle, and then as you go away, it gets a little older, 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 because that means the two beasts that are blue here were once actually here, and the seafloor has been slowly spreading. So that's seafloor spreading, and this of course led to the whole idea of plate tectonics, that these continents are not floating, they are part of a much larger plate that happens to be moving and carrying the continent with them. So hopefully this helps your understanding of seafloor spreading. Have a great day.